So we're going to go over this the basics of training today as far as um, blanketing and saddling the horse, catching the horse, um, uh, haltering them, uh, bridling, uh, worming, mounting, dismounting, and just uh, uh, mutual respect between you and your, your horse. And if you would, just imagine for a moment if you were going to school again to have a career and you go into the classroom, how do you want to be taught by the teacher, uh, whether you're in grammar school or high school or in college? You know, is it okay that the teacher sits there and screams and yells at you and uh, gets all over you or, you know, scolds you a lot because you're not understanding the subject? You know, that's not how we want to be taught and that's not how our horses want to be taught. Um, how they want to be taught is the same way you'd want to be taught in school by the teacher. You know, you'd want to have a teacher that had a lot of patience, uh, a lot of understanding. You good boy. A lot of understanding. Um, a teacher that would put a lot of steps in, in his uh, teaching program so that you could understand the subject and that he'd come around and actually help you if you needed his help. And when we go to school, uh, when the teacher starts teaching us, you know, he breaks everything down into steps. You know, step one, everybody in that classroom can do. So when it comes to training this horse, this uh, round pin is no longer a round pin. The horse is no longer a horse, and I'm no longer a trainer. This round pin is a classroom. Um, the, the horse is a student, and I'm the teacher. So the first thing when I started working with Marco is he, he was hard to catch. I couldn't catch him. So I said, okay, we're, we're going to get through this. So I put him in a round pin just like this one. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller, and the first thing I asked him to do is uh, ask him to go to the left in the round pin. And when he uh, started going to the left, then I would stop. And what Marco needed to do was keep going to the left in the round pin, and he needed to go to the left consistently. No, nope, keep going. And he needed to go to the left consistently, like he is doing right now. Um, and this was the first step. Then the second step was for him to change directions. Change directions and go to the right. Good boy. And then we started teaching Marco what inside turns were. And as he went around, as he goes around, I'm gonna start stepping back. And what he's gonna start doing, he's gonna start coming into me and then I'm gonna ask him to keep moving. So when it comes to teaching your horses how to be caught, every time I make an inside turn, he starts coming in towards me. And that's where I want him. I want him coming into me. Um, when we go to catch our horses, it's not the nose that we're seeing. It's the rear end that we're seeing when they run from us. So eventually, what Mark ended up doing is I could kiss to him and you'll come to me. Good, right there. Come on. Good boy. And that was good. So I'll tell him he's a good boy. And then what I do is I'll send him off again. Have him go back around to the left. And, and, what it, and then eventually what we taught him was to go all the way around me and line up. Now I can put a halter on him or a bridle or the blanket or the saddle or whatever I wanted to do with him. Good, and line up. This is a preview on Back to the Basics. To learn more, go to Google, type in Mike Hughes Horsemanship Members page, click on the link, and subscribe. Learn how to solve behavior issues, horsemanship. Learn how to start your own broke horse under saddle, rescue horses, and so much more. So just go ahead and click on the link, take a look at my site, and then subscribe. Hope you're having a great day and have a great time with your horses. Thank you.